Hey everybody, it's Nina and welcome to my YouTube channel! That is still so weird saying that. I am so excited for my first video so let's get into it. Today I'm doing an oil painting of Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. I know I painted him before using gouache in his cartoon form in previous videos, but today I'm going to paint him the way I believe he would look like in real life as a real boy. The reason why I wanted to paint him realistically, well, it all started with one TikTok video. So in the video, they mentioned that Aang from Legend of Korra, adult Aang, looks oddly European. So this is the adult version of Aang from Legend of Korra. As you can tell, there are just specific features that throw you off, like the shape of his eyes or his high nose bridge. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look like the adult version of this boy. I've also seen other realistic artistic renderings of Aang where he just looks like a full-on European man. Don't get me wrong, I think Legend of Korra Aang is beautiful, but I don't think that's how Aang would actually look like as an adult. So yeah, I just wanted to paint this realistic version of him this way because I thought it'd be super cool to see him as a real boy since the closest we ever got to having that was... Yeah, so back to what I was saying, um, I went online to do some research to find out why Aang looks more European in LOK than he did in Atla. I never ended up finding an answer, but I did find a Reddit post that asked the same question, why does Aang look European in Legend of Korra? And as I kept on reading the thread, there was a multitude, there was a large amount of people that actually said, oh, I thought Aang was Caucasian this whole entire time. What? What? Are you telling me that when you watch Avatar The Last Airbender, this is how you've pictured Aang all along? My name is Aang. And I'm the Avatar. Okay, I'll stop with the Noah Ringer slander. I'm being a little too mean. Oh my gosh, also when I reached this point in my painting, I was kind of like, oh, I've created a face. Another person is staring at, back at me. That is weird. Hi, how are you? Well, yeah, back to what I was saying. I personally believe that it's clear that Aang is Tibetan because that's what um, his air nomad culture is inspired by. I understand why people could think that he's Caucasian because of um, his cartoon drawing. When you look at Aang, just looking at him physically, his eyes are big, his skin is pale, it's perfectly reasonable to assume that he looks Caucasian and is Caucasian. But when you look at his clothes, when you look at his culture, the fact that he's a monk, he practices um, a pacifist style of life. These are all aspects of his character that has been inspired by Tibetan monks. I understand sometimes that animation and art style can have an impact on how racially ambiguous a character can seem, which is why it's really important to look at the context clues within the animation, like their beliefs and their heritage. Another part of my argument is that there are no European-inspired cultures or nations or tribes. Another reason why Avatar is so special to me is because it's one of the most popular shows that has built a fictional world inspired by Eastern culture. Other popular fictional shows built in Western history and culture include like Game of Thrones or The Witcher. Don't get me wrong, I think European and Western fantasy is amazing. I mean, I love shows that are rooted in medieval times or or have been shaped by fairy tales like once upon a time but i also think you rarely see a fantasy world as successful as avatars that was built outside of the standard medieval fantasy format another reason why avatar works is because the fictional nation isn't reliant upon stereotypes and oftentimes this could be the case when non-POC writers 
draw on Eastern cultures or ethnic other cultures for their fictional realms. As an actress myself, I have to say that is true because there have been multiple times where I've received scripts and auditions for characters for this Chinese girl or this Asian girl my age, but she's not fully fleshed out and a lot of her character is heavily based off the fact that she is Asian. So instead of Avatar The Last Airbender building their ethnic characters based on stereotypes, they draw from concrete elements in history. For example, Japanese imperialism inspired the Fire Nation, which is why national pride was a huge component of Fire Nation society. Since I am talking about Avatar, and this is basically an Avatar The Last Airbender video, I have to mention the fact that Avatar Studios was created. I'm really excited that the original writers are on board because um, I think any remake or redo of a project or adding on to a project always works much better when the original creators are involved. Okay, don't come at me, but the reference I have for the tattoos are literally based off of the ones they use for the live actions. Okay, in my personal opinion, the tattoos and recognizing Dev Patel's talent are the only two decent things about the movie. Here, at this point, I realized that his tattoos look really bad and fake because they're so dark. I was talking to my dad and he was like, yeah, they don't look like tattoos, they look like they were drawn on with markers, which is why I painted them light blue because tattoos fade, and I guess that's why Cartoon Aang's tattoos are light blue. I added in some more shadows to the corners of the arrow, and yeah. I was basically done at this point, but I had to do the background, and at first I went with yellow because I thought the background would look nice yellow, but I was wrong. And I also realized there was a lot of impurities, so I had to do a layer of white paint before I did the actual background, which ended up being this light indigo blue. Then I realized the blue was getting all over what I already painted, and I really didn't want that to happen, so I did a bunch of painter's tape. I don't know if you guys notice it, but I've made so many mistakes with this painting. This painting literally took me like a month or so, and yeah, it's been quite a journey. Around here, I finished the whole painting and I just signed it with my name. And yes, I did sign it with both my American and Chinese name. So this is the result of the final painting, and this is what I believe Aang would look like as a real boy. Thank you guys so much for being here! I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared to touch my painting because it's oil and it wasn't really dry yet, so I was just kind of using the sweat of my palms to suction the back to show you guys like this. Thanks for watching my first-ish YouTube video, and I'll see you guys next time!